Hello friends, in this video we are going to see an example. First of all, let's have a look at the example, which is example 21. Suppose we are using a color machine with three colors, red, blue and green. A sensor is used to sense the colors. When the red color is sensed, machine A works for 10 seconds. On sensing blue color, machine B is actuated for 8 seconds. On sensing the green color, machine 3 will work for 5 seconds. And last, a reset button will be used to reset the whole process. Now let's head over to the OpenPLC editor and construct the letter diagram for the given example. Now, first of all, I will press Ctrl N to create a new project. Then I will create a new folder, industrial example 21. I will select the folder and press enter. Then I will change the language to letter diagram and press OK. I'm going to drag this down a bit and drag this up then onto the power rails I will first of all add the left power rail and then I'm going to add the right power rail We'll keep them aligned then onto the variables here my first variable will be start and type will be boolean then reset I'm not M1 up to M3 and then sensor and there will be machine A machine B and machine C. And then that will be red blue and green. Now, first of all, I will start with the normally open contact with the address start. Then in series, I'm going to add the reset with normally close contact and on the right side I'm going to add a coil with memory bit zero. I will adjust the size I'll join these pins here on the both sides and I'm going to add another normally open contact in parallel with the start. Then I'll join these pins here.
on to my second prong. First of all, I will add the normally open contact M0 and I will add the normally open contact then I will copy and paste the sensor first of all I will add a coil here I'll join these pins then I will copy and paste the coil two times then I will double click and change my third coil to M3. I'll press OK. I'll join these pins with the power rail. You could join the pins with the same sensor, or you could add another two answer, sorry, another two sensors and put them in parallel and then join them with M2 and M3. That wouldn't make a difference. On to my third rank, I will add the contact M1 join the pin here and at the contact which is red and the pin then another two contacts here which is machine B and machine C but those two is going to be normally close contact I'll join the pin here Adjust the block size. Then I'm going to copy and paste for my another rung here. Then paste another contact here. Another contact and Another contact. So I will join the pins. Then I'm going to modify the contacts here. My first contact, it's going to be M2. And for second contact, it's going to be blue and for these two contacts, they are going to be machine A and machine C. And then I'm going to add two coils. One will be machine A and another one machine B.
adjusting the size i'm going to join the pins here then onto my last rung first of all i'm going to add a contact with the address as m3 i'll press ok then i will add another contact with i'll join the pins first with address as green then i will paste two contacts here Then I will modify them both. This is going to be negated. Machine A. And the last one as negated machine B. I will press OK. And I'm going to add a coil here now with adjusting the block size I'm done with the contact and coil now all I need to do is add some function blocks my first function block which is the pulse timer i'll increase the size a little bit keep it in series then i will copy and paste the block then again paste for the second time for my last three rungs here, Now I'm going to join the pins here. Then I'm going to add the variables for my first timer, which will be 10 seconds. I'll press OK. Then I'll join the pin here. And I'm going to add another variable here. with eight seconds I'll join the pin with the timer and my last variable for my last timer which will be five seconds I'll press OK join these pins and now I'm going to start the simulation. The simulation is complete. I will click on the debug instance here. I'll drag this up. And now let me show you the machine A, B, and C. Which are the three machines. First of all, I will start the process. Now when the sensor is going to be on, which means it will sense M1 
M2 and M3 will be on. Now, depending on which is it going to be or which color is it going to be? Is it red, blue or green? Let's suppose that it's blue. I will force through to the blue. Now, the machine B is true for some time and the sensor will go false. Machine B was true to 8 seconds and the blue will go false. Again, the sensor will sense, let's suppose, the red. Then the machine A will be on for 10 seconds up to the preset time. Now the red will go false and the sensor will go false. Then after the reset is used to reset the whole process. With this our video ends here. Thank you for watching the video.